Welcome. If you're new here, my name is Faye, and me and my wee family live in the very far north of Scotland. We spend our free time exploring and taking family adventures. For those of you who aren't new, welcome back, beautiful people. On a stunning dog walk and exploring awe-inspiring castle ruins, where we unexpectedly weren't allowed in. It may not feel very summer-like at the moment, but no matter the weather, we like to get out into nature, take a walk and take in the breathtaking views. Good morning everyone. We are just out on a morning walk. It's yeah, we're still in our water prints <laughs> and our coats, so it's not particularly warm. Even though it is July. Hey Mondesia! Oh, there's a lot of flies which <coughs> can be a problem this time of year as well as the midges. Um, people talk about the midges a lot but um, Actually, the flies are just as bad. They like to fly in your ear, and obviously they're a lot bigger than the um, midges. But yeah, it's uh, it's not a great day. But we're in um, our favourite place um, to walk the dogs. It's, it's a little hidden gem, and it really is hidden. And also, most people wouldn't drive the the road to get here, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, the view is hard to to see. There's mountains all over there, but most of them are covered by cloud, but I don't mind that. It looks, it still looks amazing. Um, yeah, this is our, our favourite place, one of my favourite places to swim, although I'm not doing that today. Um, just a quick morning walk with the kids who have gone on ahead. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd join you for a dog walk and come with us on what we do today. Do like getting out here it's beautiful come on let's go you need to throw it not a very good stick oh <laughs> i'm gonna be quick because the more I hang around the more flies there mum The theory of blue space health talks about the positive effects of being near bodies of water. Benefits of the blue space is believed to affect us in a few different ways, including stimulates healing, promotes calmness, promotes better sleep, not to mention the physical effects of being more active while in the great outdoors, exploring those natural blue places. Even in the rain, it's just stunning. Definitely better in the sunshine, but um, take what we can get. But yeah, I love it here. Uh, even though it's not a great day weather-wise, the lock is so still. This is probably oh, from the dogs. <laughs> um, I've never seen the lock this still actually. There's a little bit of wind, but not a lot. Yeah, it's, um, and I've had a look at the weather and it looks like it's going to be not particularly windy uh, the rest of this week so I'm going to try and come back on Wednesday 
and get the paddleboard out and get the kids out on it as well. As a kid, I used to live out by a lake With lightning bolts, collecting sticks and secret handshakes After our glorious dog walk, we get ready for the day. First stop is a play park meet with friends before heading off to Castle Sinclair Gurnigo. And those were the years that I hold so dear And it felt so right having you by my side I would never waste your time on mine Nosy. So where are we? Oh, and then the castles over there. Gurney go. Oh, I see the castle oh, Sinclair Gurney go. No, Mama, look. So yeah. you're here. And yeah. Then you walk on see the dark kind of pathway. Yep. And they get you. Mm -hmm. It's not long. You can see it's just over there. We've done it before. How long? Forever. Okay. I will. Look at that. Yeah, oh, well, that's a good job we came when we first moved, isn't it? Yeah. Because we could get in it, but you can't get in it now. No. No, this is the first time we've been we can't get in. Oh yeah, and then there's two times that we could Yeah. I suspect they'll open it again once they've fixed whatever needs fixing unless there's a lot that needs fixing. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a very, it's very old, isn't it? Oh, I Got this. Good job. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright Castle Sinclair Guernigo is actually two castles built at different times Castle Guernigo being the earliest built by William Sinclair, 2nd Earl of Caithness Sometime between 1476 and 1479 then the expansion was built in 1606 when Castle Sinclair was built. 
which was connected to the earlier castle by a drawbridge. It's a beautiful room with such amazing energy, I would highly recommend to visit if you're ever in the far north of the Scottish Highlands. As you can see, many parts around the castle are very narrow pathed on the cliff edge, so please take care when visiting. But it really is worth the time to explore around the castle and down by the cove where the water laps up around the rocks and feels so powerful when choppy waters crash against the rocks. There's something so captivating about this place. Found what we're looking for in life. crazy, but things are finally right. Here I'm talking about the fact there is a very narrow path along the cliff edge down to this area but the wind had really picked up from the start of the day and you couldn't really hear me. Shut it, darling. Sometimes I have yeah. animals. I don't get them stuck. It also says to shut the door when you're late. It does. Shut the gate. Good job, kiddo. Yeah. And it says, or else. Or else? Or else what? What's going to happen? I don't know, but something really bad. Oh. So we had a really lovely time at the park with friends, um, a couple of hours there and then obviously we went to Castle Sinclair, Grindle, Grindle, no, Grinigo, 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 Castle Sinclair, Grinigo, no, that's not right either, is it? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? I don't, I'm very tired. I just spent about 10 seconds trying to figure out how the hell to say it. Castle Sinclair. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? I'm not sure. Um, spent um, an hour or so there as well, which was really lovely. Uh, I did have my swimwear underneath. I thought I might get in the water, but wasn't really feeling it. It was a little bit choppy, it's like a bit of a canal bit, as you saw, um, that you can swim in. But um, yeah, just didn't really fancy it. Really busy as well. Uh, we tend to avoid these sort of more touristy places at uh, this time of year, but we were there, right there. The, um, the park that we went to is right there, basically. So we just thought, let's just go. Um, and it is beautiful. You can't get in to the actual castle bit anymore, uh, whether they're open at some point, I don't know, uh, because uh, bits of the castle are falling down. It's obviously a very old building. So um, I don't know whether they'll open that again, whether they'll fix it or open it, but I've got a feeling they're just gonna keep it closed off and, and leave it to do what it's going to do, I think. But um, but even just being able to go around the outside of it, there's lots of little quirky little um, bits to see um, and along the cliff edges and stuff. It's, it's pretty stunning. And then obviously the lighthouse, which we didn't do and we haven't actually ever done, but we probably should have done, but uh, we didn't. Um, right, yeah, I'm just really tired now. It's now quarter to five and I don't even know what we're having for dinner, but um, I will throw something together and that's the day done, I guess. Uh, the girls are upstairs relaxing, chilling out, doing whatever I think. Um, 
couple of the long face time with some friends. And uh, one of the friends that we met in Spain, actually, she's really lovely that they, um, my eldest keeps in contact with. So if you haven't seen our adventures in Spain, then you need to go and check out our Exploring in Spain series. It was really quite amazing to spend a month in sunshine because we've come back to the UK, back to Scotland, and there has not been very much of that. But the job, we love it, no matter the weather. But yeah, so I'm going to get on with dinner. After dinner, we all just chill out for the evening, reading, watching, and then head into bed. I take this time to catch up on emails, messages, and social media work. I hope you have enjoyed coming along on a day in the life with us in the far north of Scotland. Please do like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And comment down below, would you visit the castle? Does history excite you too? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, as I love chatting to you all there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys! Thank you.